The U.S. Air Force recently unveiled a breathtaking video capturing the B-21 Ryder, its advanced sixth-generation aircraft in motion, both lifting off and touching down. Alongside these awe-inspiring visuals, the rigorous testing of the B-21 continues, reaching a pivotal milestone in its development. During a panel at the Air and Space Force Association's Airspace and Cyber Conference, top officials from the Department of the Air Force and leading industry partners shed light on the progress of the B-21 Raider program. Thomas Jones, president of Northrop Grumman's Aeronautic Systems Division, announced that the program has achieved notable advancements, allowing for two flight tests per week and impressive feat. The meticulous design of the aircraft for routine operation is now bearing fruit and the strides taken in the last year have been nothing short of extraordinary. This pace, Jones emphasized, is one they intend to sustain. Another crucial landmark for the B-21 program was the triumphant completion of static evaluations on the G-1 asset. This ground-based test vehicle was instrumental in gauging the structural fortitude of the aircraft. The tests affirmed the robustness of the design and bolstered confidence in the digital models developed by the team. The Raider is now undergoing an intensive fatigue testing regimen, essential to verify its durability and resilience throughout its operational lifespan. Looking forward, the B-21 program is preparing for the arrival of these aircraft at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. This preparation involves equipping, training, and certifying Air Force Global Strike Command squadrons to seamlessly integrate the new aircraft into their arsenal. Close collaboration between operators and acquirers has been vital to the program's success and will continue to be essential in meeting the demands of global power competition. The commander of Air Force Global Strike Command addressed the mounting strategic threats from adversaries, underscoring the role the B-21 will play in mitigating these risks. With its unparalleled capabilities, the B-21 fleet will not only reassure allies but also serve as a formidable deterrent to potential adversaries. Its advanced stealth technology and ability to engage high-priority targets render it unmatched. The objective of the B-21 program is to produce a minimum of 100 units, and Ellsworth Air Force Base is set to become the initial primary operating hub with Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri and Dias Air Force Base in Texas to follow. The past 12 months have marked tremendous progress for the B-21 Raider. The alignment of digital models, both in simulations and during real-world operations, provides significant confidence as Northrop Grayman moves toward delivering on this tour Tay. This innovative approach, driven by the dedication and expertise of the team, continues to accelerate the Raider's development through flight testing and production. Setting a new benchmark for sixth-generation aircraft technology, the B-21 incorporates cutting-edge stealth features and advances in low observable technology. Not only does the aircraft excel in combat capabilities, but it also offers a streamlined maintenance process that is both simpler and less costly compared to its predecessors. In contrast to typical prototype aircraft, the B-21 test units are production representative, equipped with mission systems and built using the same tooling and techniques that will be used in full-scale production. This offers crucial insights for a seamless transition into large-scale manufacturing. The knowledge amassed during the development phase ensures the B-21 will enter full operational capacity in the most efficient way possible. Northrop Grumman, the driving force behind the B-21 program, leverages agile software development and digital engineering tools to mitigate production risks. Ground testing has already demonstrated the efficacy of digital modeling, surpassing industry norms and paving the way for future generation platforms and systems. Sustainability has been a priority throughout the design and development phases of the B-21. By incorporating sustainability from the outset, the program guarantees long-term operational efficiency and delivers immediate benefits. This focus enhances the B-21's technical data, material availability, and training protocols, offering tangible advantages to the user community once the aircraft is fielded. With sustainability at the forefront, the B-21 Raider is purpose-built to meet the evolving demands of future combat scenarios while minimizing operational costs and maximizing readiness. In the long run, the B-21 Ryder will replace the aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit Bombers, becoming the backbone of the Air Force's versatile global strike capabilities. This long-range stealth bomber is both highly survivable and capable of delivering a wide array of conventional and nuclear munitions. The B-1 Lancer, affectionately dubbed the Bone, has served for over three decades and remains a key component of U.S. air power. In 2021, 17 B-1 bombers were retired, leaving 45 still in operation, with plans to maintain them until the B-21 is fully integrated. 
With a proven history of combat success, the B-1 Lancers will continue to play a vital role until the B-21 is fully operational. Initially flown by the Air Force in 1985, the B-1 Lancer was originally conceived as a nuclear-capable bomber but was later adapted for conventional warfare. Given its exceptional service record, the Lancer remains a critical asset, and its continued use ensures a smooth transition period, protecting national security as the B-21 comes online.